Quintero putting it into the middle. It's being called a 10, but I think uh, the target judge is going to have uh, a closer look in a bit. And uh, I think uh, this match, uh, this is, it has everything in it to become a really high level match. Um, but mostly looking at the Indian team right now, um, all three or three of those archers are still in the individual uh, Elite Eight as well. So uh, you kind of have to favor them for for the title here. Who would have thought before before this competition that you'd be saying in the compound women's discipline, Mexico in a match aren't the favorites? Yeah, it's a it maybe a bit of a stretch, but uh, I think they've proven themselves uh, time after time this year. They've had some very good results in the compound division, and um, yeah, I think it's just it, it kind of makes sense to uh, uh, put some high expectations on the Indian team by now. Seventeen-year-old Aditi Swami putting it into the ten, and as uh, Chef Vandenberg, our resident expert, says. They're putting in some good performances all through the season. Venom completes the first half hat trick of tens, and there is Sergio Pagni. What difference has he made to the Indian team? Well, it's difficult to say what it, what difference he made exactly, but we've seen. Um, I, I've said this before today, but. Uh, a broader selection of uh, really good archers um, not only internationally but also just from no, India itself no. so a, a lot of uh, compound archers from India shooting at uh, well international top level um, whereas before it was only a handful of them Striped archer for the Mexican team, Andrea Becerra, number nine. Two of that. Uh, a little bit of English was uh, required to uh, get that one in the middle. A bit shaky, and uh, I think it was mainly because of the wind blowing her around a bit, and she was trying to force her aim to stay in the middle. Um, there's always two approaches here, where you can uh, either just let it go and, and let the wind take you where the wind wants to take you, um, and then obviously try to steer it to the middle a little bit, because aiming is always a movement. Um, or you can try to force your bow to uh, to stay in the middle, but it's a bit more. Uh, there, there's going to be a bit more muscle tension involved. So the arrow was marked down for the Mexicans after end at number one. So it's a two-point deficit for Mexico. No, no. And I've said it before, um, they have three ends to uh, gain back those two points, so it's not impossible, but they are shooting against uh, a team of three very, very high-level archers in uh, great shape, so they will need to shoot a very high score to uh, get close to the Indian team here, I think. It's uh, interesting to see um, the elbow of uh, Core 
it's it's very in line and also very high up where just looking at it makes my shoulder hurt <laughs> um, and it's also it's not like the standard technique that you would see from uh, from anyone it's a uh, it's a very interesting way of uh, shooting A little bit of a hiccup there before the shot went off. I think there was maybe a bit of wind, uh, like a small gust of wind that pulled her off the middle and she didn't expect it, but the shot went off anyways. Just already feels like every drop point from Mexico is an opportunity for India. a chance to steal another point here for India with three tens. I was going to say we're going to get a good look at her elbow now but she has such a quick shot that it was difficult to uh, really focus on it. Um, we do on the other hand get the uh, contrasting form of Swami here with more of a lean back relaxed style of shooting. Yeah. Not quite perfect in the semi-finals to get to that gold medal match. Liko obviously being the winner of the previous World Cup stage. So, um, yeah, the, she has a a good fighter's mentality I think, to uh, win some matches. Mexico starting the third as they mean to go on. As they need to go on. Another one of those twitchy arrows where um, it, it just seems like sometimes her sight drifts off to the right and she needs to pull the, uh, the bow to the left to uh, um, counter that, but with the compound bow it's very difficult to uh, still have any effect on the arrow as soon as the release goes off because it's all so fast. Just 17 years old, Swami. She makes it look like it's just another day at the office. The lead grows more for India. Now what's going on here? Daphne Quintero standing behind the shooting line. I think the clock hasn't gone over to the uh, Indian side of shooting maybe, or it has, but then switched over again. So something is wrong with the timing system at least. Mexicans trying to sort of laugh it off because they have to reset uh, at least one clock, possibly both. Well, it is both, as you can see, the two zeros there uh, either side of the uh, floor scoring board. A little 
technical hiccup just to add to the tension of this World Championship final. Mexicans at the halfway stage were 118, 115 down, and we're at the halfway stage of the third end. And as you can see, that lead has grown by a single point. Both teams trying to use this moment to relax. So is it almost switch your brain off or certainly switch off the sort of process part of your brain? It's at least um, a moment to consider, like, can I change anything about this situation? Should I change anything about this situation? Or um, should I just roll with the bunches? And I think uh, it's the latter. So everything has been reset here, halfway through the third end. Costly eight there. Um, they were already in an unfavorable position to win this match still, but this eight is gonna make it even more difficult to get back into it, especially with India shooting as well. We're finishing with a ten. Andrea de Thera puts the target down on 172, 178 available to India. A moment in history, perhaps, about to be made. Eight or nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Pressure relieved a little bit here, as you can see. This is very gettable. Jyoti Sareka Venom, perhaps the ideal person to cross the line here for India. Puts it on the line for a 10. Situation they're in now. We go, we go into this uh, fourth end here, and whatever happens, history will be made. This will be a new, newly crowned country leading the World Championships. It's been called an eight, but it might hit the line for a nine. Um, something will need to happen uh, to the Indian team uh, if Mexico still wants to have a shot at the gold medal. No. No. Well, you can hear the Mexican crowd have just quietened down. And it's almost, uh, I'm sure they haven't, but it, it almost looks like they've thrown the towel into the ring. Yeah. Knowing, though, that you're in the driving seat it has its own pressure. Doesn't seem so from the Indian 18 year old Pani Kaur. Just super calm and composed, and like no indication of uh, her being nervous whatsoever when she's on the line. It is quite incredible, isn't it, for a 17-year-old? A weight of expectation we know uh, from the Indian archery audience is huge. But this is some impressive shooting. Eight points clear. India lead Mexico. Three arrows per team to go. Disfrútala. Arriba, abajo, poco a poco. Recuerda. Fuerte, Ana Sofía. Aguántala hasta el final. 
A lot of vocal support from uh, the teammates. It's a, I think from the Indian team we hear nothing. <laughs> yeah. They're just solid finish, two twenty nine with uh, three tens, uh, but India almost have an arrow to spare here. First up, Panic Car. Bit of shaking there. Oh, can they do this one in style and finish with a perfect 60? 17-year-old Aditi Swami. Just outside for the nine. So in some respects, the pressure is off to get the perfect 60. And it's a very comfortable five required from Jyoti Sareka Venom for the win. And finishes in a nine. The queen of Indian archery, Jyoti Sareka Venom, takes the country into the archery history books as India become the world champions for the very first time in the compound women's team division. Sergio Pagni, the coach that's come in to aid them in their compound division, has paid off in a big way. India, the new world champions.